Well, hello guys, it's Lego Show TV here, and as you can see, we are doing a custom Lego Ninjago minifigures review. I have three minifigures here that I've created myself, and um, they're all going to be showing up and having a main uh, plot story in my Ninjago episodes, and um, from left to right, we have Shadow Lloyd, which his backstory is simple. If you've seen the uh, uh, episode 14 that I posted last night. In the middle, we have Moro, which you all know who he is. And uh, Ronan, which you have not seen yet introduced into my series. So we will be taking a look at closer of them, and I will be um, showing you them. Starting with Shadow Lloyd. Now, uh, you all know Shadow Lloyd. He is Moro in uh, Lloyd. Till I get the real possessed Lloyd, he will be called Shadow Lloyd. And as you can see, he uses the Lloyd Zukin robe. Um, suit and a random cape to make him look evil. Plain black legs and a coal uh, bandana. He has Lloyd's regular face and Lloyd's hair. And he has Martian Manhunter's little thing that goes around his back. I couldn't find that black one of them. I don't know that I have one, but, uh, yeah, he is a very mysterious figure and will be fighting against the ninja in the series. And, uh, he will be really powerful because he's Moro inside of Lloyd, typically. And, uh, yeah, uh, that is him. If you haven't seen episode 14, go check it out. And uh, he uses Lloyd's 2013-2012 face uh, as uh, you saw there. And uh, yeah, uh, he will be definitely making an appearances in the uh, show. Uh, his appearance resembles a little bit of the Night Reaper from uh, Amazing Mega 123. His backstory is similar to those from to that one of my friends, and uh, also maybe a relative to the Night Reaper. He is definitely relative to um, Moro Shadow Lloyd is um, because it is him. But yeah, uh, you can see it takes inspiration a little bit from there because of the way that the cape is. And if you've seen my friend's episode, you know it's the exact same way. Uh, so yeah. Next up, we have Moro. And uh, I've added a little more detailing to him. He does have the Zukin robe uh, Lloyd carrying pouch with, from the swords. Also comes with Kai. The Darth Maul uh, suit, Lloyd's green bandana, I think uh, Dr. Octopus's uh, hair, I'm not for sure if it's, I think hit Dr. Octopus's is black. Lloyd's 2014-2015 face, I wanted to make it resemble uh, Lloyd as much as possible, and Lloyd's uh, tournament robe pants, and yeah, and Lloyd's bandana as well. Now, last figure here is Ronan. I uh, kind of made him up. Um, best inspiration I could do. Yeah, and. Uh, he features the Ninja Turtle uh, torso, Ninja, uh, the uh, Superman, I think, uh, whoever the um, 
villain was in the last Superman movie. Uh, his legs. Can't think of his name. Uh, the orange hair, similar to what Moro has. Um, and Moro does exactly have this type of hair. Uh, ZX shoulder pads. And a Galaxy Squad face. Only thing he is missing is Sensei Wu's red hat and a few other stuff. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed these figures. And they will be showing up in my series. At the moment, I am filming for my Call of Ultron movie. Which will be coming out very, very soon. Be looking out for that. <coughs> and be expecting a theory video on when you think when I when I think we could be seeing Ninjago in stores. Because um, interestingly enough, I was on the website for Toys R Us earlier in my area, and if you watch the Toy Fair pictures, the Ultra Agents uh, sets. Um, for that were shown there were on the Toys R Us website, which can only mean those dates are a lie. It only means those dates that were set for those are a lie. Um, so yeah, because I, I'll ex actually explain more in the video, but yeah, you get the point. So, yeah, that's about it. So please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.